Well, good day, tubes. How is she hanging? Pretty good here. So, today we are going to dump out a hydraulic fluid system in this 1944 2N. Um, as you remember from the last video, uh, there was a mix up with, I guess, the last owner and they had the dipsticks in the wrong place. So, the dipstick that should have been in the engine was in the back and the back one was in the front so it uh, showed both had oil but the engine had way way too much oil in it and now the sticks are in the right place the rear end uh, transmission has pretty much nothing in it so that's really not good so it looks like we're going to fight with some more caps i'm not really looking forward to that but uh gotta get this changed anyways so uh, i don't know whether i should do this after it's warmed up a bit I think it would take you probably a good uh, afternoon of warming up to uh, get that fluid in the rear end to be warm enough but uh, to dump out, but I think I'm just going to dump it out and maybe let her sit a couple of days and just kind of let her drool into the buckets kind of thing, and then we'll top her off again. So we'll get something to lay on, and uh, it's cold out here today. I don't know if you've kind of noticed, maybe a couple of flakes of snow kind of drifting past. I've noticed the... Uh, and we're filming this here and it's uh, May 8th as of right now so it's a little bit uh, weird in the year for getting snow but uh, well, this is Canada eh? Can't, much, can't do much about her bud so uh, anyways we'll uh, get our supplies and uh, start uh, fighting with these caps hopefully they're not as bad as that oil drain was that was just terrible all right so under this tractor most of them are same I think the eight ends only have three plugs this actually has four one, I I don't understand why they've got it, but, I mean, there's three great big ones under there. And it's weird how they're a hex, but the engine is a square, one-inch square uh, plug. These ones all have the hex on it, so if I can't, I'm just going to try my, try this guy. If it doesn't work, I'll, I'll go down and get my uh, good set of, uh, well, it's a big one. I don't have them that big up here. Well, you know what? I might. No, that set I don't think does. I'll have to get my big set, and then I got a huge ass freaking pry bar. That'll we can attach to that. That'll get them off. So I'm gonna try with this though. See what we can do. Uh, but let's have a look at these plugs. Sh show you these plugs. Sorry, I scared ya. So, well, let's get you guys down here first, and then I'll climb under with it. And we can have a look at all these plugs. So there's one right here and that's for your like your transmission it's all one system though which is nice there's one there for the hydraulic system and then a, 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 a square one back there for the rear end it's all one compartment though but then we've got another one right here right there that guy and it's like a i don't know why they have that drain plug but i guess i don't know gets the last little bit out but i see this one is leaking a bit so we might have to make some gaskets up. This one doesn't seem too bad, but uh, yeah. Now I'm not expecting a huge whole pile of oil on this because there's nothing on the stick right now. It only holds a little bit less than five gallons. So if there was three gallons in this still, I'd be surprised. But anyways, let's uh, get you mounted somewhere here and uh, we'll start ripping out plugs. Oh, we're gonna do one at a time, I guess. I'll do this one first. Okay, I got some extra pails here, just in case it does take off all of a sudden. It's probably going to take a while for this to all drain out, though. So, uh, I'm not going to be in a huge, major hurry. Ugh. Okay, so, uh, this is probably going to be tight. Too bad. That's good. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not. This is going to be some pretty gross milky crap. If there's even much in here. Now, I've got wind coming from you guys towards me. Eh. I wish there was a little more square of a bucket. I'm gonna check and probably make gaskets for all these and then seal them back in. Okay, she's ready to go. 
That's pretty gross stuff. Not much either. <laughs> Holy crap, that should have been glunk, 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 glunk for a long time there. Wow, that's really bad. Well, I'm just going to put uh, these plugs, I guess. We'll look at them after in the other bucket here. And I'll work on this other one maybe here next. Boy, there is not much in there. That is probably not a good thing. Ugh, looks like pudding. But that's why I want to let it drain for like a day or two maybe, at least. Because it's, it's thick, right? It's like almost honey thickness. So anyways, um, check you guys out here and see what you're looking at. I'll maybe move you over to this one in the middle. Right now, let's see if we can get this one out. Hopefully, it's about the same as that last one. Come on, really? Come on. Okay, there we go. let this drain out a couple of days really what a wish I knew like a while ago that we had this difference in plugs but I didn't so oh there's water in this one I can see it coming out already oh that one's goopy that one's got some goop to her what a mess. Those plugs will need all cleaned up. Now, I can probably push that one to the back. Maybe get this plug so I can get, now you can't see it, but it's up here. I'm gonna try to get it out now too. But I think I might get a socket for that one. All right, I don't know if I can get you in a decent enough spot there, but. This one is an 11 16th. I was going to use a socket, but I couldn't get in there with a socket too well. There we go. I'll try to share this pan. Maybe. <laughs> it shouldn't be that much come out of here now, though, because it's mostly come out the other one. But again, yeah, I don't know why they've got so many. Like this seems kind of funny, this one. Because that big one is actually lower than this one, but yeah, not much coming to that one. Figured so, but a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right, now we got the one at the rear end, and I guess I'll get uh, one more bucket there maybe. But yeah, you can see these things are gonna be drooling for a while. And uh, hopefully it flushes all some of the junk out too. I'm sure there'll be some residual junk left over, but do what we can do, I guess, right? All right, it's gonna be tricky to get in there because I got the attachment still on the back here. Tricky for me because I'm not a smaller ass guy. <laughs> Squish into here. I'll try my best. Probably get in, but I might have to get my wife to help me get out. This is a tight spot here. Well, that's probably too, too big. So we'll just use our adjustable again. There might be a bit in this. Hopefully there is. I managed to get another bucket of stuff, but we'll have to do that. Fill up and stuff in a couple of days. I'll maybe just keep it as one video though, but. All right. We 
probably could share buckets here, but I'll uh, get its own dedicated here. And there she goes. So there'll be a little bit in there, but not as much as it probably should have. Yeah, these things are going to be draining for quite a while. Quite a while. Just like butterscotch. Sure is. Holy jeez, what a mess. <laughs> but I got some plugs to clean up anyways. Um, this one here isn't really too bad, probably. But I want to get them all sealed. Oh yeah, it's got some goop in there. I want to get them all sealed up too, right? When uh, we put them back together. So I'll probably use some uh, thread dope around the threads because that's where it would end up leaking. And uh, that should seal her up good and tight. Oh, that's going to be having to leak for a couple of days. Well, i got to try to get out of here now, so it's been nice snowing yet. And uh, <laughs> I'll let you know if I can get out of here or not. I'm between the rear tire and the front disc of this disc i got mounted here right now. So that's awesome. That's going to take a while to drip out. Holy cow, what a mess. But anyways, on a lighter note, I uh, fixed this running board. This running board was the one that was kind of bent at the back bracket here. I don't know if they hit something or what. And it was also bent on the step, like the running board at the back there on its own. And uh, this uh, or 90s here, it was kind of bent weird too. So the whole thing was kind of sitting weird, but it's, it's good now. Got her fixed up. So our feet sit flat, sweet. All right, we get these caps cleaned up a bit, I guess. This one's not bad. This was the... Um, that was the front one. It's not actually too bad. That's the one that's sort of in the middle. And then there's the little one from the rear end. So we'll get those cleaned up a little bit. Um, that's the best way to start here, I wonder. I need my parts washer up here, but this has actually got dirt in it, like gravel. You can hear the dirt. Hopefully it's dirt, not metal. <laughs> Could be metal. Bit of water there too. Doesn't surprise me. Wait, what a mess, eh? What a mess. Might even just get a bit of gasoline maybe because Gonna take a bit to clean these all up, I think. What a mess. If I had extra room up here, I'd probably bring that parts washer up here, but really don't have a lot of room up here for something like that right now. So, it's got probably the worst of it off. I feel like the gasket's still on this one. So anyways, it's like a metal fibery kind of one. Not too bad. Ooh, hopefully I didn't get you guys. Might have. Might have.
That's got the worst of it, I think. Don't know if the gasket stayed on the other one or not, but she's dripping gooey right now, so. What a mess. There we go, a little bit better anyways. Merry Christmas, by the way. May 8th, Merry Christmas. Yep, it's, 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 it's snowing. Merry Christmas. Can you believe this stuff? Wow, what is going on in the world now? All right, well, we're gonna speed make a couple of new gaskets. I think I'm gonna make a couple of these. I've got some stuff here, real thick stuff. It's not probably the exact same stuff as that stuff was, but this is a gasket material we'll use for that. You already used a chunk from that other, um, one of the other plugs we made the other day. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna trace these kind of thing and then uh, we'll, uh, I guess, bang out the inside on the on the vise here with the little screwdriver. Mm, that would work, I guess. Bang that out and then I'll just cut the, uh, the outside with the skizzers. These are fairly clean now, so. That's good. I found the bottom of this actually to trace too if I had to, but it's a little bit bigger. But actually that wouldn't be too bad. It might be too big though. But uh, let's see. It's just a hair a bit too big, but I can trace this I think. So let's do uh, get this stuff folded out. It's pretty stiff stuff. And uh, tape on it I guess too. I need something heavy to hold that down, but uh, stay. We'll uh, try to trace one out here. One go right there pretty well. And uh, oh, I'm gonna have to get something to hold that down. Hang on a sec. All right, there's a couple of new gaskets. Um, the first one I broke, I had to make another one when I was snipping it. This one I think is a little bit tight, but it's okay on the threads because when it gets down underneath where it actually sits, it'll be uh, a little bit floppy, right? And the, yellow, the old one was like that too. Actually, the old one was worse. There's the old one. So it, it had piles of play, so not a whole lot of sealing service. So these ones are actually probably better. But uh, I will probably, yeah, that one's got a bit of flop to her too, but I'll put some thread sealant on here, I think, too. Thread dope's good for getting it off again after. It uh, kind of protects it from getting any corrosion and stuff on there. Seals it up real nice, right? So that'd be a good thing to, to fire on there after. But uh, there's a couple new seals anyways, and then I'll seal them down maybe too with some of that... Uh, um, anaerobic stuff I've got and uh, underneath so nothing can kind of it won't get past the, the the threads here anyways on these things whoop geez almost knocked over so I'll dope up the threads here too and then uh, they're nice and clean and dry now I just have to get the tractor clean and dry too as best I can I don't really want to spray stuff on it but uh, that stuff's supposed to be all right for going back together a little bit dirty I think um, but I'll get her as clean as I can get her in a day or so after the snowstorm. 
comes through here. Holy cow, but those are clean, ready to go. Um, this other square one is all good, and I'll just dope him up too. And uh, that other one is just like a bolt, but I'll clean it up and uh, dope him too, I guess. There we go, we're all good now. That guy had looked like a little washer on it, but I'll seal the threads. Not uh, Loctite though, it's not Loctite, it's thread dope stuff. And that'll, uh, that'll prevent the oil from getting through. It's meant for that, so it's meant for water, steam, gas, oil, uh, everything pretty much. Good stuff. Uh, so that's, I guess, it for today for this thing. I'll let that sit and drool out for a day or so here and uh, wait for the snowstorm, like I say, to pass. And uh, it's probably pretty much done drooling, but... Uh, I think I'll just leave her. Boy, there is not much in that thing. Holy. That is... I'd really like to measure that and see. But I really don't want to get that in my measuring bucket. There's not very much oil on that, though. Wow, I'm amazed that thing didn't uh, grenade itself <laughs> being so low on fluid. It would be basically using her and then dropping her back down. So, um, anyways, I guess there we go. So, yeah, I just seen more drips there, so I'm going to let her sit. So, anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.